What is up guys, my name is Cody Piper, I'm a filmmaker, thanks for joining my channel today, thanks for watching this video. If you like it, leave a like. You don't know yet because you haven't watched it, but leave a like at the end if you do like it, or now if you're feeling special. Anyway, today we're going to be looking at DaVinci's Scene Detection. So I've been looking for this option in Premiere and other editors for a long time, and I've only found like paid options that didn't really work that well. But basically what Scene Detection does is it takes a video that's already been edited together and there's a bunch of cuts already made, and it analyzes the waveforms. So when the waveforms jump, it adds a cut at that point. So you don't have to go in and manually make cuts at every cut point in that video. You can all you can go ahead and run that through DaVinci's Scene Detection. It will make all the cuts for you. Now I found this out because Premiere is integrating this too in their newest version of Premiere that's coming out soon. It's only in the beta version right now, which I don't have access to, but it's fine. It's randomly selected. So I can't test it in Premiere, but I have tested it in DaVinci and it actually worked really well. So let's go ahead and jump in and see how to do that and hopefully help you guys out with some videos you're working on where you need to make those cuts automatically. All right guys, so this is the project inside of DaVinci that I was editing for Brock Breaks Everything. So if you guys have been following my channel, you've seen this short film. Um, but this is in a different form. So I actually started editing this film in DaVinci and got a little rough cut going and then I actually decided to spend the $30 and buy the Autochroma B-RAW integration plugin for Premiere because at the time Blackmagic didn't have their own plugin released. So I ended up buying that and editing everything in Premiere and it worked great. Um, but this is like the little rough cut that I had in DaVinci. So I went ahead and just rendered this and then I'm going to bring that file back in so that way we can compare with the original cut and the scene detection cut that DaVinci actually runs. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna add a bin for our scene detected clips that are gonna be imported in. Now we're gonna move over to the media tab. Then you're gonna to wanna to find your file on your hard drive and don't import it yet. So go ahead and right click and then click on scene cut detection. Then go ahead and click down here to auto scene detect and let it go all the way through. So now that it's finished trying to detect what the cuts are in your footage, um, you have this little pink bar right here. And so if you drag this line up and down, you'll see how the gray lines start to highlight green. Um, so the green ones are gonna be cuts that you confirm that yes, there's a cut here in the footage. And all the ones that you leave gray down below are gonna be left out. So the higher the line, the more confidence DaVinci has in that cut. So I would pick a point where there's not too many short lines and drag that down. And what you can do is go to the beginning and you can play it or you can zoom in and see where the cuts are supposed to be made. So if you find a green line that's not a cut, you can delete it. So you can go to the green line and you'll see this is the middle frame. This is the frame where your playhead is. This is the next frame. This is the previous frame. You can see that the previous frame and the current frame are different. So that's a cut. So that's good. So we'll leave that there. After the cake falls, there's a cut back to the other shot and there is no cut here from Da Vinci. Completely missed it. So you can just go up to that point here and add one. So let's see here, we got two cuts back to back. I doubt this one's cut. Yeah, there's no cut here. So what you can do is hit delete and I'll take that green bar away. So if you really need to be precise, you go through and you add and delete different cuts, get to a point where you're solid. And then what you need to do to bring this into DaVinci is you want to add cuts to media pool. So that's why we created this bin. So all these cuts are gonna go straight into the bin. The only thing I don't like about this is it adds the cuts as individual clips. And so you can't drag them out and see more of what's in the actual footage. So you may wanna import the original clip as well as doing this. So you click on add cuts to media pool. Uh, there's no notification to tell you that it worked, but if you X out of this dialog here, you'll see that they all came in. Let's go back to the edit tab and let's go ahead and bring all these in over top of our footage. And just for me making a couple cuts, let's see if we got close. Now, sometimes DaVinci will bring things in as these like time remapped clips when it seems like there's nothing happening in the footage, which is really weird to me. It's really strange. So I'm gonna delete these out just to see if we got a little bit better of a look here. And as you can see, a lot of these cuts line up with the original. Now, unless you go in and make all the cuts manually, it probably won't be perfect, but it will give you a really good head start. And so this is really helpful if you're working on a video where you're using um, past B-roll compilations or uh, previous videos that have been finished and you're pulling them in and making them into one. Or this could even be helpful if you are trying to study a film and analyze it and you want to bring in the movie and see where all the cuts are and see how it was edited and then start to really see at a glance from a timeline view what the editors were thinking and their thought processes and those kinds of things. Boom, super cool, super helpful. I'm so glad I found that. Apparently that's been in DaVinci for a couple years now. 
had no idea. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. If you like this video, again, leave a like down below. Make sure to subscribe to see more videos like this. Hit that notification bell so you're notified when new videos come out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.